Hey friends, it is Jenna, what is up, and welcome back to the Board Game Garden. It has been a little bit since I have uploaded. I decided to skip my weekend upload just to enjoy Christmas and the holiday season with my family. Also, it was a little bit chaotic getting back from Mexico, which if you do not know, um, Francis and I, my partner and I, went to Mexico with his family for the week before Christmas. So our flight back to Canada was scheduled for Christmas Eve, and then we were supposed to go to my parents' house, sleep over, and wake up um, for Christmas Day with my family, but... With everything going on in Canada um, during like Christmas Eve, Christmas Day with like snowstorms and windstorms and stuff, our flight was actually delayed until Christmas Day at 9 a.m. So we ended up having to like last minute get a hotel and stay over and then get up the next morning super early to get our flight on Christmas Day back to Canada. Fortunately, we made it back. We were all safe. We were all good. Um, but we did have to move my family's Christmas to the next day, which was the 26th. Fortunately, everybody in my family was able to do that. So we ended up having a wonderful Christmas with my family on um, Boxing Day or the 26th of December. And now we are in this present day. I did take the last few days to just catch up on things and schedule things and prep things. And it is now time to get back into filming videos for you guys, which I am so, so excited about. This video that I'm filming today is one that I have wanted to do for so long. I was actually going to film this one before we left for Mexico, but I didn't have enough time. So I had to hold off on doing this until now, and I am so excited. Today, you guys can tell by the title that we are going to be unboxing a game that I have wanted for over a year now. A huge, huge shout out to Renegade Game Studios for sending this over for me to try and share with you guys. This game is, oh, I'm just so excited for it. The game that I'm talking about is a pretty hefty game. Um, you guys saw it on, I think a video that I did like an unboxing after we got back from LA, but that is Artisans of Splendent Vale. I am so excited for this game. I'm trying not to get like the, <laughs> the light into the reflection, but we're going to be doing an unboxing today. I don't really typically do unboxings. I don't think I've ever done one before, but I would love to do more here on the channel. So let me know if it's something that you guys will want to see more of in 2023. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be unboxing this big hefty boy here. I'm gonna show you guys everything. I do have a camera filming up here as well. So hopefully I can piece this together and make it a fun unboxing video. But without further ado, if you guys want to see me unbox Artisans of Splendent Vale and chat a little bit um, more about it, then just keep on watching and let's get into the video, shall we? All right, let's get into this box. Like I said, this is probably the biggest box I have ever gotten a board game in. Um, actually, maybe Castles of Burgundy, like the deluxe edition prototype, is about the same size as this, but it's like slightly different because it's a rectangle. This one's just like a huge square. What is happening? Hello? There we go. Ooh, yeah. I'm trying to like make this like satisfying, but you guys will learn. I'm horrible at doing things gracefully. So let's get this wrapping off and then we can do a nice opening of the box. Boom. Goodbye. Okay. Open this up. It's like a half box kind of lid thing. Oh, this is so pretty. What the heck? Oh, wow. So this is the um, rule book. It's really cool. Basically, this is a campaign game where you are a artisan. Unfortunately, this cannot be played solo. I'm sure you could play it like two-handed solo if you just um, play two characters on your own. I'm pretty sure you could do that, um, but oh, I'm so excited to dive into this. I haven't um, really like gotten into like how the game plays and stuff like that, but that is why I am unboxing it today so I can start reading this rule book and seeing how the game plays and stuff. But long story short, you are an artisan. There are four different artisans that you can choose from and you are going on an adventure. It is a storytelling adventure. 
um, and you are an artisan, like I said, and you have like your own things that you're going and doing, but then you're also doing things as a group. And I'm assuming, I actually think this might be a little bit legacy game because you are like writing things and the art is absolutely fantastic. And oh, I'm so excited for this. This is, like I said, published by Renegade Game Studios. And then it is designed by Nikki Valens, which she designed, um, what is it? Mansions of Madness, Eldritch Horror, and then I believe she helped out with some Arkham Horror as well. Um, but we have this here, which has Search for Planet X. We also have Bargain Quest, which is a game from Renegade Game Studios that I really want to try as well. There's also My Father's Work, which is another like bigger campaign style game. And then there's also the Tea Dragon Society, which is a card game that I want to play as well. So many games from Renegade Game Studios are absolutely amazing. Um, we also have this, which is like, ooh, foiled and stuff. Can you guys see that? Ooh, foil. Um, it kind of seems like, oh, it's like a map. Oh, this is so cool. And you have like, oh, interesting. So you have this on this side, and then on the other side, you have a map. This is so cool. Okay, I am so freaking excited for this game. Um, we have a bunch of um, cardboard punch out things here. There's like some organization stuff, some tokens, these circle things, which I'm not 100% sure what those are. Um, I'm thinking they might be like health um, things. And then you also have for each of the different artisans, we have these little papers here. Oh, that's so cool. Apothecary, tailor, Artificier or Artificier and Mason. Oh, that's so fun. You guys, I, I'm probably gonna say these things over and over again, but it's so cool. This is like a beautiful book. Um, hello. I keep on forgetting that there's this camera too. I'm kind of just like showing this camera, but then also this camera. Tim Chuen, I don't know how you do it. Um, I'm getting this idea from him, so shout out to Tim. He makes some absolutely fantastic, fantastic videos and unboxings, which he's like inspired me to do more of these. Oh, this is so cool. Like each of these pages are different places that you go throughout the game. Oh, Y'all, I'm so excited. Like I'm hoping Francis will play this one with me. If he doesn't, like I am totally fine with playing this just by myself. Um, you have this kind of over thing um, that kind of keeps everything in place. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it out. There you go. It's like a pink color too. I guess it's supposed to match the, the box here. And then we have a bunch of different boxes. And this is what I'm like so excited about. This is so cool. Like literally it's like a set of novels. Are you freaking kidding me? This is gorgeous. I am not okay. So we have the set of four character books. I think this is the one thing that made me like really excited for this game. It's basically you are working together on like a map all together, but then you also have like different things that you're going off and doing on your own as a character in the game. And you're actually going off and doing those things in like a separate little map in your own book, which I think is really, really cool. So I'm going to just grab one of these books. Ugh, what? This is insane. How is there so much content for one character? This is so cool. Okay, so here it is without the wrap. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like, half matte, half glossy, and then there's also some foiling. You have all four characters on the side there. I am in love with this art, holy crap. And I did not realize these books were going to be so chunky. Like they are hefty books, literally like a novel for each character. This makes me so, so, so excited. 
Um, like I said, you are like going off on your own little adventure. So like, I don't want to give too many spoilers, but there is like pages where you can take your character and like go onto your own page on your own. Um, this does kind of remind me of um, things like Above and Below, Near and Far, where there are different chapters. So you would flip to 543, for example, and then you would read off what happens in that specific um, paragraph. And oh, this is so, so cool. I will mention that they did a lot of inclusivity in this game as well. There's um, he slash him, there's a she slash her, there's also they slash them as well as uh, she slash her. And then this one here is interesting, if I can even get it out, where the character is Z slash Zir, which is so cool. And I love that they, they did that um, in this game. So those are all of the character books. One of like the main things that really drew me into this game is how like each character is so different. You have the character boxes here. I don't know if there is, yeah. So there's nothing in here as of yet, but I believe there are more things in other boxes that you put into these. Um, so I believe there are things in here or possibly in like the punch out boards and stuff that do go into these boxes. Um, we'll get into that, but there's also this, which is an index. Let me open this and see what we have in here. I have no idea what this is. It says index, so I'm assuming maybe this has cards in it, possibly. Um, but this is what it looks like. Looks gorgeous. Oh, you know what? I think it might actually, oh, oh, it opens up like this. There's like a magnet, opens up. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at how pretty this is. Are you kidding me? So these are all of the cards. There are a ton of cards in here, holy manoli. They're all like chonky cards as well. I'm assuming each colored card goes with a specific character, possibly. Not 100% sure. Um, there are quite a bit of colors and stuff. Oh my goodness, there's so many cards in there. Like, I don't even know what to show you guys. Um, oh my goodness, what the heck? There's like stickers on this card. I'm not 100% sure if that is right. What is happening here? This is interesting. What the heck? Okay, I, I really need to like look into all of these things because there's like stickers here as well. Inspiration. Yeah, like all of these cards here have stickers on them. Can I see that? Huh. Interesting. I'm so excited. The only thing with unboxings is I feel like you go through and you're unboxing things and like I want to know what all these things mean but as of right now like I'm kind of as clueless as you guys are so hopefully that's okay that like I don't know what any of this stuff is. Um, I believe that is everything. This is the last thing in the box here. I'm assuming this has the miniatures. I don't actually know if this game comes with miniatures. Does it come with miniatures? Um, I actually don't know if it does. Oh yes, they don't come with miniatures, but it comes with um, meeples. These are very cute meeples. It comes with each character in a unique shaped meeple. Oh, interesting. What the heck? I'm pretty sure these meeples are like erasers. What the heck? This is insane. Um, those are the, <laughs> 
the meeples, um, but they're not like a wooden uh, material. They're like a an eraser material. And it's funny because like one of them's like really small and I don't know if it's supposed to be small like that, maybe. That's so funny. <laughs> they're so cute, okay. So those are the character meeples. You do get like your own pencil as well. Oh my goodness. And you get your own bookmark. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. You get your own bookmark because obviously you need to bookmark where you are in your book. And you have your own like character pencil. Look at those. So fun. This is insane. I feel like this is like very unlike any other game that I have seen before and I'm so excited to dive into this in 2023. Please let me know if you guys would want to see live streams of me playing this game. If I decide to play it solo if, or if I decided to play it with Francis, let me know. Um, I don't know if this type of game is something you guys would want to see on a stream just because it is like kind of spoilery if you decide to get this game as well but these are the dice they are like a marbled pink and white color and there are a bunch of different um, faces there's like a cross there's a punch there's a like a boot there's a boot and a plus sign there's like a gem looking thing there's a shield, a bunch of different things on these die. Um, very, very cool. Love the color of those. And then we also have a bunch of meeples here as well. I'm assuming these are, oh, okay. So we do have wooden meeples for each of the characters as well. So what I'm thinking is actually these erasers are meant to erase things in your book, um, which is interesting because there is like a wooden meeple version of each of them in here as well. Um, we have the teeny tiny blue one. We have the green one here as well. And then there's like a bunch of different meeples in here. I'll show you guys some of these. Oh my God. What are these shapes? I have no idea what this thing is. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that. Maybe I should show you up here. Maybe I should just show you all of these close up. Those are some of the meeples. No idea what any of these things are. I'm assuming they are um, enemies that you are fighting against. There's a bunch of different sized ones and shaped ones. And then there's also another bag of what looks like I think they're enemies. Um, it's actually interesting because a lot of them or all of them have dice numbers on them. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that in that camera, but um, they all have different dice numbers on them. So it almost seems like you are rolling a die, hoping for a certain number. The only thing is that the die that come in this game are all like different symbols. They're not dice numbers. So I'm gonna, I'm interested to see what that means. Um, Cause all of these have different dice numbers on them. So I thought maybe you roll die and then whatever number you roll, that's what you can attack. Um, but I am not sure about that one anymore. Um, there's also some more here. Only thing is I do not know where the remaining Two other meeples are. Now well, here's one. There's like a purple one and there's also an orange one. Let me see if I can find the orange one. Hmm. Oh, there she is. Yes. So there are four eraser feeling meeples and then there's four wooden meeples for the characters and then there are a bunch of different um, enemy uh, meeples. So interesting. I 
am even more curious now how this game plays based off of these different things. Um, there is also these little stoppers here, which I'm assuming is for these punch outs here. So I'm assuming it's some sort of health gauge or something like that. Yes. So it looks like it's a health gauge for each of the characters and then possibly um, the enemies as well. I'm not 100% sure, but I have probably said I'm not 100% sure like 15,000 times in this video because as much as I have looked into this game and I'm very interested in this game, I really have no idea how it plays because I didn't want to look too much into it because I wanted to be surprised. This is a campaign game, so it's just like a journey that you're going on and I really, really wanted to be surprised throughout the journey and just getting into this game. So yes, that is pretty much everything for this video. I am going to quickly put everything back, which I don't really know how I'm going to do that, but we have all of the character meeples here. We got the pencils, we got the bookmarks, so cool. We have the dice, we can put those back into here as well. This goes back in this slot. I really love how organized they made this box. Um, you have the index, which nicely just slots into that spot. You have all four of the character boxes, which I still haven't decided which character or characters I want to be. Um, there is Javi, Javi Ferreria, <laughs> um, Farah, oh my goodness. I'm not going to say any of these names. Those are the names there, if you guys can see them. Um, those are the four characters that you can play. Um, these books are ginormous, like I mentioned. They are literally like full-sized uh, novels, which is insane to me. Um, but I do think that I possibly want to be Ramani. A Ram Ramani, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, they are an apothecary, which I don't know exactly what that is, but it's something to do with potions. Um, but I do think all of the characters can do potions and stuff. They do have a section here that says potions. So I'm assuming you're going to be making potions. Um, you got damage, you have injuries. You can open this up. Oh, interesting. A bunch of interesting things going on here. What? Okay, this is super cool. I have no idea what any of this means, but I am, like I said, so excited to dive into this game and figure out more about it and what goes down in this game. Um, actually, I do wanna put this back in here just to keep everything nice and tight. And then you have the gorgeous book. You have the punch outs, you got the character things there. You have the map, which is so cool. And then we have the rule book. I don't know if I showed you guys the, the front of it, but oof, I'm so excited. I'm actually going to keep the rule book out because I will probably read a little bit of that tonight. We're going to put this lid back on here. And that is going to be everything for this unboxing of Artisans of Splendent Vale. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I did not expect those novels or like individual character books to be that chunky, but oh, holy, I am so excited to go on this journey. Um, whether that is solo, myself, or with Francis or other people, I am just so excited to explore this world of Splendid Veil. And thank you guys so much for watching today. If you enjoyed, please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if unboxing videos are something that you guys would want to see on the channel. Um, so I know to make some more in 2023. Do you want me to do unboxings of one game only? Or would you want to see, you know, one video with me unboxing a bunch of different games? 
Um, or do you want me to do live streams? I've considered starting to do a few live streams here on YouTube as well. So let me know all of these things down in the comments. I would love to know. Um, I'm excited to film a few more videos before the end of the year. I will be doing a, instead of doing my usual like December videos or December games I've played, um, or like games I played in December and then solo games I played in December. I am actually just doing a big wrap up of 2022. I'm gonna chat about the games that I played in December, both multiplayer and solo. And then I'm just going to chat about my um, stats for 2022 and what I plan to do in 2023. The last um, little bit this morning and last night, I was planning different challenges that I am doing in 2023 for board gaming. I'm really pushing myself in 2023 because I am going full time with the board game garden. I really wanna push myself to to play more games, play a huge array of different games, older games, newer games. I am really trying to push myself to play a bunch of different games and share those with you guys. So I'm so excited for that video. It's just going to be a big, huge 2022 wrap up. And then in the new year, I will be doing my top 10 or possibly top 20 games of 2022. I thought about doing my top 22 games of 2022. Maybe I will do that. Um, and then I'm also going to be doing my top solo games of the year. And we will see what other um, fun videos I will have in the new year. So yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile. Hit that subscribe button down there to join the garden. We'd love to have you. Oh, I do want to say, I don't think I've said this yet, but we did hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of 2022. And seriously, thank you guys so much for joining the garden and making 2022 just so, so amazing. I started making board game content just because I loved talking about board games. And so many of you have joined the garden and enjoyed the content and it just warms my heart and makes me so, so excited for the future of getting to, you know, build this community up and grow this garden. And I just appreciate you guys so, so much. So. Thank you, thank you for getting me to 10,000 subscribers, getting us to 10,000 subscribers. This is a community and I just love it all. So huge thank you to you guys. Love you so, so much. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile and I will see you in the next board game video. Bye friends.